This is a Lego Minecraft set, except there's a 50% chance that Steve dies and everything gets deleted. So I'm gonna try to build the safest Lego Minecraft world possible using all of these to keep this from happening. When you die in Minecraft Hardcore, your entire world gets deleted. It's devastating. But Lego minifigures can't really die, except if you do this to them. So how are we gonna simulate death, you might ask? Random chance. I trapped this Minecraft chicken in between two pressure plates. He's named Jeff. Destroyer of the worlds, by the way. And our life is literally in Jeff's hands. Er, wings. If Jeff chooses death, the set gets destroyed. But if he chooses life, we keep the set and add it to our expanding Lego Minecraft world. Then we'll combine the pieces from all the broken sets into one massive custom world to make sure Steve never dies again. With all that explained, let's start building our first real set. This thing looks like it's got scoliosis, but it's cool that you can shear the sheep to build it up. I would love to keep this intact, but let's see what Jeff has to say about it. How this is gonna work is I'll put Steve in a life-threatening situation, pull the lever, and act out whatever fate Jeff desires. All right, go ahead, Jeff. No, not that way. No, 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 no. <clears throat> okay, I was hoping to show you what it looks like when we keep a set alive, but I guess not. This time though, I've got a good feeling about it. This little stable comes with an armored horse and its son. The groom isn't very good at riding them, but she can feed and water them, and there's dispense for them to jump over. Of course, that thing's kind of terrifying, but do you know what's even scarier? Right, Jeff, buddy, pal. You gotta go- Yes! That one! Yes! Yeah, this is great! We actually get to keep this set for now and add it on to the next one. I actually opened this set months ago to get these pieces for the 22 Ville finale, but the rest of it is pretty sweet too. I do think these bees are way too long looking. We're calling this the bee tree, by the way. But we also get a villager, fire, golden shovel that looks just like my ear spoon, and an elytra. I can see what all the buzz about this set was for, and now we get to add it beside our stables. I salvaged some plates from the wreckage to attach the two sets together, and this shows how beautiful our world could look if Jeff would cooperate. I don't like your attitude, young man. You better go to the right, right? No, stop! This is why we can't have nice things, Jeff. That really stings, but now it's time to go under the sea to build this smaller set. This turtle shell allows Alex to breathe underwater where she can feed the fish, kill Squidward, and find buried treasure with a, a dead fish inside. That's great. But it would be even more great if Jeff could not be the way that he is. This could have been part of your world, but instead, I was hoping to combine this set with the coral reef, but I guess not anymore, Jeff. The monument section isn't as impressive as the original set. This one's mainly about the mobs. Three different axolotls, guardians, and this thing. Isolager definitely should have won. Just like the copper golem should have won. So we didn't have to use Jeff. Jeff, Jeffrey, please. Do not go there. I'm begging you. Stop. No. Oh, actually, thank you. A laser great. Not sure how this is going to combine with the nether set. We'll have to figure all that out later, but I love this one so much. Steve is somehow already decked out with netherite and can mine some obsidian. Oh, let me speed that up for you. To repair the ruined portal. Great mechanism. Just top notch. Now it's time to go to the nether. So Steve said goodbye to his loved ones because he needs to cook food to bring with and hop through the portal. This place is extremely dangerous, so let's combine the sets now before Jeff gets any ideas. Except these are about as different of biomes as you can get. There's a tiny bit of water here, I guess, so we can make some pillars to support everything up above the monument. And to fill up some of this empty space, here's a massive lava fall. I actually really like this combo. It's very Minecrafty, And I would love to continue building it, but unfortunately, Jeff seems to have a taste for blood today. He's going thirsty! This next set's interesting because it tells you to build your own creations. It does come with instructions, but I think we might just go rogue on this one and use these bricks to make our existing world better to give you a taste of what we'll be doing later on. I was a little overwhelmed with all these pieces at first, but we can extend the ocean surface and floor easily enough and add this big grassy area, which looks pretty cool, but has the structural integrity of a wet noodle. So let's not even bother trying to find places for these. We can fence off a spot for pigs and build this tower out of any and all blocks we have left. This is a work of art. Way better than my last skyscraper. I'll add a garden, bed, all the mobs, and I'm not sure what to build with all the spare parts. Um, this. A staple of any Minecraft world. I can't put it on the spinny thing anymore because when I lift it, things start to crumble. So I actually wouldn't mind if, uh, Jeff, you wanna, uh, yeah, there we go. Thank you. Well, it was nice knowing you and you. I'm very excited about this set because desert villages are my absolute favorite in the game and Lego captured their essence very well here. I'm calling this guy Kyle and he can trample the village's crops, get a free bed, books, string, another dead fish in this chest. What is with that? But there's also this armor for him to take, a cool flag to decorate with, and he can trade with the villagers for all the stuff he just stole from them. Great system. Overall, this is a nice peaceful little... 
Oh boy. Uh, alert! Everyone back in your houses! There we go. Wait, what is that? Well, this raid is a good time to tell you that this video is sponsored by Jeff. Jeff is the sponsor. Jeff, Kyle is going to smack you if- Oh! Cool. That's right. No one terrorizes this village except for Kyle. But that's great because this next set fits perfectly with a desert thief. It's a Mesa trading post with a mine shaft you can excavate. Normally, I just see the wandering trader as a source of free leads, but I'll try to restrain myself from murdering this incredibly derpy man for now. First, we gotta combine it with the village. There's a few places we can put it to line up the red sand. This one leaves a gap. That's backwards. <laughs> I like this one, but this is perfect. Look at that, no pillars required. Now we've got our own full-blown society going on here with Kyle as the dictator. But let's see what the dictator of our life has to say about it. All right, do not go that way, turn around. Thank you, yes, no. Okay, he's like a pixel, he's one pixel off, bro. Just, no, stop, stop! Fine, I didn't like sand anyways. I'm not sure if you should include these sets or not. I just got them bundled in with some of the other used ones. I don't know what this is supposed to accomplish. Okay, I survived. I mean, these are cool and all. We finally found out who's been killing the fish. Just, what am I supposed to do with this? Okay, this is an abomination. Help me out here, Jeff. All right, you know you want to, Jeff. Yep, there you go. Thank you. No more nightmares. This set is the biggest one. It took forever to build, but oh man, it's cool. There's this whole minecart track with turns and tunnels, TNT demolition sites, and even a creeper-shaped gold vending machine. That is so impractical. It would be great to have this as the foundation for our final layout, right? Jeff? Right? Wrong. Well, now that it looks like a bomb went off in here and here, I gathered up however many bricks this is into one big bin. And this is what we're gonna use to build our custom Minecraft world. We'll keep all the mobs and the blocks intact, but everything else will be our own design. I sorted the base plates by color to get a feel for all the biomes we'll have, and immediately used all my brown bricks to build this waterfall mountain. It's full of so much life and color, just do not look at the backside. Yeah, this is where we keep all the ugly stuff that won't work anywhere else. We should probably check in with Jeff, but I really don't want to struggle through building all this again, so we're just gonna... Perfect. That should hold him off for now. These stairs lead down to a tiny savanna, where we can reconstruct our nether portal and... Don't look at it! There wasn't a whole lot I could do here with only one nether set, but I actually covered up the wall and now it looks good to go. There were actually a ton of dark orange base plates, so the mesa ended up being pretty big, with these amazing striped buttes, a spot to dig for gold, and the minecart rail heading into the desert. I built up this mysterious tunnel that leads wherever you can imagine, and the villagers have to sleep outside now. So a door probably doesn't make much sense, but the absolute unit that is Kai keeps a watchful guard against the raiders. The next door plains have a nice flat area for a pen with all my animals. That's one, two, okay, good. And a little starter farm. Then I made a Lego version of Jeff with the life and death indicators. It's just not the same without this guy. And I'm very glad this one can't move. But with a chest full of all the dead fish we've collected, I gathered up the safest possible gear for our main Steve and built him the safest possible house. A day one cobblestone shack impenetrable. And now there is no way anyone is dying in this world. We've got all the major biomes from the sets we massacred and used up most of the pieces. Take that, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, what are, you, what are you doing? I hate you, Jeff. <laughs>